Welcome back to HRN HQ at DeRosa with Sarah Albadwe. Sarah, we're a week away from being a day away from the Belmont Stakes and all the great racing that comes with it. Rich Strike is already at Big Sandy. All eyes on the Kentucky Derby winner as he looks to become the first since Thunder Gulch to win the Derby in Belmont without winning the Preakness. Of course, we've had others win the Triple Crown, but... He is also he's looking, there. He is. He's also looking to tie up the score of horses that have won just the Kentucky Derby and the Belmont Stakes, but not the Triple Crown. Oh, 13 to 13. Mm -hmm. I, who had that? Someone. Someone. Posted it. That was not me. We should credit that. We'll figure it out. But yeah, that was, uh, was it Zipsy? I don't know. We can That'd be good because he's on Horse Center, which you should check out. And you should subscribe. And like. And like our post. We're already off to a good start. I'm sure you've already hit that like button after such a reverie. But Rich Strike, I think he's going to be the favorite. I thought that you said last time that you didn't think that he was going to be the favorite. Uh, I was wrong. You've changed your I've mind. I've changed my mind. We'll see if <laughs> one of those opinions will be right. We'll see which one. Well, I do. Th be wrong. I do think now that he will be the favorite would be my answer now. Was it that workout that really changed your mind? Uh, it was something. I was very happy to be there live for it. Uh, no, I mean, I just think, I mean, there is a story to him. I think people, I mean, maybe I'm being optimistic about who shows up to play this race after what we saw in the Preakness. I'm still blown away by the odds in the Preakness. Whoever was there betting Fenwick, uh, who is the other one? Not Armagnac. Someone else took a little bit more money than we thought. Wasn't Happy Jack, I don't think. Yeah, he was not the longest shot on the board. That's who I'm True. thinking of. Okay. Just that he took money. Yeah. Whoever showed up to bet them, I think, will be the type to bet Rich Strike, even at a short price. So mm -hmm. hopefully they show up because I think at three to one, he's an underlay. I certainly don't think he's impossible in this spot, but at three to one, I'm going to try to beat him. Well, you also had some interesting data on Sonny Leon did. and Eric Reed's kind of lack of success going the 12 for a long distance. However, my argument was, how often are you really going 12 for a to put No, that it's to fair. And it's, yeah, not so much lack of success, but maybe lack of experience at that distance and having won. But uh, Sonny Leon, 0 for 7 in 12 for long races. That's turf or dirt, just a mile and a half for him. Uh, Eric Reed, 3 for 50, which he has uh, quite a few opportunities at Keeneland. So they run those 12 for long turf races. And he does start a few there. Eric Reed does have a win at Belmont. Uh, I believe it's one for 26. And it was a stakes win. So he shipped he shipped in for some black type before. This will be Sonny's first mount, or at least first day at Belmont Park. He might have a mount before the Belmont Stakes, actually. But he's never ridden there before, I guess, is the bottom line. Do any of those concern you at all? I think that if I liked the horse, they would, but I think that you and I are both going to try to beat him and someone who is not lacking at all in experience at Belmont Park and in the Belmont Stakes is trainer Todd Pletcher, right. who is looking to send out <laughs> possibly two horses in here with Nest still being a possibility in the field. And he has won this race before with a three-year-old filly. Yes, he has. And I'm guessing uh, Mo Donegal is the other yes. of his. Yes. Uh, it's I don't love no experience at Belmont. It truly is unique. I know that's cliche to say, but between the surface makeup, obviously the distance of the race, but then just the the, the, de the depth of what Belmont Park is. It's huge. It's breathtaking, quite frankly. And I could see being a jockey. I don't want to say intimidating because what they do, I doubt they're intimidated very much, but it's a totally different way of riding i have to think i mean i have no experience myself but it truly is unlike any other main track in the country and really only woodbine would be similar and their mile and a half course is turf so uh looking forward to hopefully a good race from him i think people would be excited about that we're actually going to get into the handicapping next week a lot going on here at hrn for belmont stakes week we have something planned almost every day, I think, for next week. At least several different videos covering the so. stakes itself. And then a couple of undercard races. In addition, tons of stakes action on the card for Belmont Stakes Day. It's kind of like a Breeders' Cup preview in the middle of June, which is It's big time. Incredible. No, it's, uh, I mean, looking at the probables, uh, some races deeper than others, but even the ones that are shallow, so to speak, certainly don't lack for star power. Echo Zulu expected to return, maybe Malathot versus Latruska in the FIPS. 
flight line in the Met Mile. Uh, I know you're going to be talking with David Aragorno about the pick five. I'm hoping to get the Paddock Prince, David Levitch, uh, to talk about the Met Mile. And of course, the Belmont Stakes will come up. You and I will talk Belmont. And back for the second time, live coverage of the draw. Which the most riveting event, wouldn't you want to watch it <laughs> with the two of us to be yeah. even more in tune with everything? Why watch on? the draw when you can watch people watch the draw? So meta. It's... I mean, that's where we're going as a society, so we're happy to be a part of it. Rich Strike on site. Ron Flatter will be on site. We'll be here to handicap, hopefully give out some winners, and it's all about a week away. Exciting stuff. Very Less much than so. eight days. All right. Join us next week. Thanks for joining us now. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.